there. A very warm welcome to this edition of News Analysis with me, Nagas Mubalari. In a moment, we'll be discussing the tensions in Jerusalem Al Quds. I'm joined by Ria Abul Asal, former Al, -Al Quds bishop, uh, joining us from Nazareth. And on the phone from New York, we're joined by Rabbi Yisrael, uh, Yisrael David Weiss, Associate Director of the Nutri Carter International. I'd like to thank both of our guests uh, for being with us. Uh, uh, Bishop Raya, if I uh, may start with you, Palestinians fear that the situation at Al-Aqsa uh, is another indication at attempts to Judaize Jerusalem. Is that a valid fear? Well, there were a number of attempts um, by the Israeli uh, government, the successive Israeli governments, to continue to Judaize East Jerusalem. This, this may be made as, as a former statement. And that's why whenever we speak of religious sites, the holy sites in the holy city of Jerusalem, we need to address the uh, root uh, cause of all of this. Namely, namely, the occupation of East Jerusalem and the continued occupation of those territories occupied by Israel, which, and unless occupation is no more, the key issue, which is Jerusalem and Al-Aqsa, perhaps other religious sites, will be, uh, will be a cause for greater... Uh, a misunderstanding here and then there. Access for the Muslims to the Al-Aqsa Mosque is a sacred right, I believe, and as much as other religious groups uh, should have uh, free access to their, to their religious sites for prayer and, and meditation. And let me for anybody over. to stop them from reaching those Yes, yeah, please. Yeah, I was going to cross over to Rabbi Weiss at this for point. For any, any party let me just cross over to Rabbi Weiss, if I uh, uh, may do, at, at this point. I mean, uh, uh, the bishop there talks about root causes. What do you, you think are the root uh, causes that we, that we are seeing? Of course, Israel says this is the Palestinian protesters' fault. It's the Palestinian protesters that are causing riots, and it is they that are causing the problems. Well, with God's help, I pray to the Almighty to bestow upon me his truth, that I should be able to convey his truth, uh, the truth of Judaism, as we have been taught for thousands of years. Um, and uh, the simple fact is, they are constantly trying, the Zionists, um, and, with, and its uh, culmination in the state of Israel, are always constantly trying to befuddle and uh, uh, make a smokescreen for all problems, accusing, vilifying, um, all different um, um, Muslim groups and the, that it's a hate from the Muslims to the Jews and so forth. Let, let's get down to the nitty-gritty to the fact. The fact is that this is not a religious conflict. We were constantly living together in peace and harmony for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, um, the WAC was the holy site of the Temple Mount, was under the Al-Aqsa Mosque area, was under the uh, WAC and the Jews uh, enjoyed the privilege of praying there all through the hundreds of years without any problem. Zionism, which is the transformation of Judaism from religion into a nationalism, uh, into having a state which happens to be forbidden for the Jews, Jewish people, clearly according to the Jewish law, even if it wouldn't be with Palestinian people involved, if it wouldn't have been inhabited, we are forbidden to have our own um, entity, our own state, and of course it's compounded thousandfold the sin and the crime of having a state because it's stealing uh, the, the, the state of the, the land from the Palestinian people and their rights and their lives and their respects and so forth. So the whole concept of the state is the root cause clearly of all the bloodshed of the rift and the mistrust and the a anger and the hate is clearly, you can point your finger clearly at one thing and one thing only, that is Zionism, that is the new neighbor to the bloc in Palestine. Now, we have to mention that going to the, the Holy Mount area happens to be one of the cardinal sins for a Jewish person we are forbidden today to go on to that place because we consider it extremely holy and we're not in that, uh, uh, we don't have the proper purification 
to be able to go onto the Temple Mount area. That's held and shared by all universally the, the rabbinical authorities, and we never, or the really truly religious, never go up on the site. The one who made, um, who br breached this concept is Sharon, went up with a thousand of his soldiers to make a political statement, and it's considered that we're cut off from God. God forbid if you go up on, this, on the Temple Mount because we're not pure on the right um, of purity. So this whole issue of the Zionists going up on the site and, um, and, and actually uh, 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 oppressing and, um, the, uh, and, and not allowing the, the Muslim people and the, you know, the Arab people all together you know, of having the right to the land, this is expressly against the Torah. And it has no Jewish, yeah. um, uh, any, any legitimate. Let me come in here, to the Torah. if I may, and just uh, cross over to Bishop Al Assar. Uh, Bishop, I mean, uh, let me quote from Article 18 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Let's take this away from the religious issue. Let's take it into the political framework. And I quote here: Everyone has the right to freedom, either alone or in a community with others, and in public or private, to manifest his religion or belief in teaching practice, worship, and observance. Is what it we're seeing today our acts a violation of that? This is certainly a violation of that right. As far as the Muslim community is concerned, and the right for free access to their religious site, namely Al-Aqsa, in East Jerusalem. And if I may make a simple comment on what the rabbi said, Religion or religions were never meant to bring harm to others. Religions were not meant to divide communities or separate communities one from another. Religions were meant to continue to heal, to help bridge the gap, and certainly to reconcile communities that are in conflict. The holy places in Jerusalem have become an issue. It's not the holy place as such, in my opinion, as much as the Jerusalem itself, the holy city itself, being under occupation, and that the parties in conflict must comply with United Nations resolutions and see to it that yeah. the holy city is liberated, especially from the political arena, so that the adherence of the three monotheistic faiths we learn the art of not only coexisting one uh, beside the other, but the art of co-living. As the rabbi said, for if, hundreds of years, people lived side by side. If I can just come in here, if I may, we had a few questions from, uh, from viewers of Press TV. I just have uh, time to ask one that's related to what you're saying from London. And it goes, should Palestinians become... Should Palestinians become free, how does each faith community propose to rebuild the bridges of tolerance that have been so severely damaged by the illegal Zionist occupation? And let me, me add to that, what can each faith community do now, if you can answer very briefly? Well, um, if, it's if I can hand this over to Bishop. Well, I continue to believe in... Excuse me? Yes, go ahead. I continue to believe in... in I continue to believe in, in dialogue. I continue to believe in the need to kill the enmity rather than continue to uh, target the enemy. In my opinion, once the issue, the political issue between the Palestinians and the Israelis, between the Arabs and the Israelis as, as entities, political entities, is resolved, in my opinion, we will become an example, a beautiful and wonderful example to, to the world as far as human relations are concerned. And let me ask the same question Muslims, over Jews to... Muslims, Jews and Christians have lived side by side, have si lived side by side for ages, for hundreds of years. And it is, it is the political question that caused this rift between us. And uh, to, to Rabbi Weiss, the same question, and again, if I can ask very briefly.